Hi, uh, I'm Rajiv. Uh, I'm the curriculum director for the professional course, which is designed for uh, teaching programming to kids 7th to 9th grade. While designing the program, I had two very clear objectives in mind. Uh, one was to keep the program fun. I didn't want the kids after going through the course say that, you know, programming is not meant for me uh, or I don't like programming. Uh, and that's why I chose game design as a medium uh, to teach them coding. So why in this course, the students, while they are designing uh, games, they are actually learning programming. Game design is often a misunderstood concept. People think game design is all about designing games which you play on your phone, laptop or Xbox. But game design is much more than that, much bigger than that. Uh, the, to the tools, the common platforms that you use, Amazon, Google, Facebook, they all employ game design in the platform. Uh, for example, if you press a like button on Facebook, that's game design and that keeps you hooked on using Facebook. When you shop on Amazon, the, the gift vouchers that you get in return, that's game design and that like that sort of like keeps you using the same platform again and again. So coding is a combination of both design as well as the technical part of technical knowledge of coding. Uh, and, and often courses just teach the technical part and miss the design part. So I wanted, the, I wanted the course to focus on both of them together. The second thing I wanted to do was approach programming just like you learn cycling. Uh, programming like cycling is a habit and uh, it is learned by doing. So you sort of like start understanding how, uh, how to solve problems. You cannot learn cycling by uh, just learning the theory of you know how you cycle. Someone can tell you about how to hold your head while cycling, how to not look back, or like a number of things, you know, how to paddle. The only way you can actually learn cycling is to pick up the cycle and actually cycle and make mistakes, do errors, and then you eventually start learning how to cycle on your own. So the curriculum is designed in a very project-oriented way where every class, a child is given a problem to solve and uh, they use programming and computational thinking skills to arrive at a solution and that fits into designing a game. And secondly, uh, programming is not language dependent. If you, if you learn to program in one language, you can pick up the documentation of any other language and learn to program in the other language as well because the basic programming constructs are very similar. I chose to use uh, two specific libraries of JavaScript called uh, P5 and Matter.js because these allow students to create objects in the virtual space which they can interact with and kids love kinesthetic and movement and it allows them to learn programming very quickly. Uh, 50 years back, if you wanted to create a product which millions of people can use, you needed to set up factories and factories need people, machines, land and so many other resources. Today, if you want to create a product which millions of people would want to use, you just need a computer program. And uh, and to write a computer program, you just need a computer and some programming skills. So at the end of the course, I want kids to think about how to create a how to create a program or how to create a product which millions of people can use.